three ninety nines, please. I'm staring. I'm staring at women. It's the heat, all the dresses and everything. It's driving me nuts. It's very hot. It's too hot. What's the temperature? No, I'm not 12. No, go away. I was only trying to be nice. I'm sorry, I'm tired. I haven't slept in about a week. My flat is suffocating. <laughs> What's the temperature? Stop asking that, will you? Mustn't stare. Mustn't stare. You haven't stared at me. You're my oldest friend. Anyway, you look like you just fell out of a tree. <laughs> Go home and get some rest, will you? No, that's what I'm saying. I can't sleep there. It's like the walls are closing in on me. Look at her. I bet she washes her hair in streams and milks things. <laughs> She's not even sweating. Has she not glands? <laughs> Jesus, it's 81 degrees. 81! Don't block the frock. But it might get to 88. And it can't. It can't. Oh, Manny, shut up. Go and have a cold bath. <laughs> I've got to get a girlfriend for the summer before I turn into one of those freaks who just gawp at women. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to lie down. Excuse me. Have you got... Oh. One for you two. How do you know what we want? We don't like the same sort of stuff anyway. You're going on holiday. You want trash. But you want different kinds of trash. You're a woman, you want social themes, believable characters. You, you want plot, suspense. This'll do you both. Mm. This temp, right? She's 29. She can't get a boyfriend. Oh, my God. Sounds great. No, no way. And she's got 12 hours to stop nuclear war with China. Right. How much time? Get out. Women think you're my girlfriend. Go. <laughs> it's just for a few hours. In my place, I'm lying there writhing and sticky and, and glistening. Stop it! <laughs> I'm getting a girlfriend. Just for the summer, till this wears off. She'll be a summery girl. She'll have hair. She'll have summery friends who know how to be outside. She'll, she'll play tennis and, and wear dresses and have bare feet. And in the autumn, I'll ditch you, cos she's my summer girl. <laughs> Come on, get up! Go home! Get out! Bye-bye! Oh, no. What's the big deal? What happens to you? You don't want to know. I do want to know. No, you don't. Don't do that! Of course I want to know. I want to know even more if you tell me I don't. Trust me, you don't want to know. Well, I'm telling you, you don't want to know why I want to know. Oh, why is that? Ha! See? <laughs> I have a condition. What? What's it called? Dave's syndrome. Nonsense, you're making this up. It's like that fudge thing of yours. What is it? You have to have lots of fudge because... Stops me going deaf. <laughs> yeah, and the other one, what, what, you, you only travel in vans. No, the other way. Never let me be put in a van. Never! It's rubbish. Attention-seeking rubbish. Hi. Do you have a book? <laughs> Thank you. How would you like a nice cool one? Lovely on a hot day like this. Cool books? Straight from the fridge. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. If I told you that the walls of my flat were actually moving in, would you think that I was strange? No, I'd ask you to come round and look after my small children. If you don't believe me, you can come round tonight and we'll watch the wall. Don't be ridiculous. We'll be staying in watching the thermometer, won't we, Bernard? <laughs> well, will we? I don't know. It's an impossible choice. Walls, thermometers, I'll just have to hope when I flip the coin it somehow explodes and kills me. <laughs> Van! Hello. How's it going? Might be a slight rent increase soon. Uh, price of light bulbs. <laughs> What's this, 2B? There was never a 2B. This is a new door. You have moved my bloody wall and put a room in. <laughs> you funny, Fran. <laughs> it's a Victorian house. A lot of them were built with really double perspective. So you might think a room's twice as big or small as it actually is. There was never a flat here. It's the heat, love. Playing tricks with your mind. No, no Dawn, that's rude, love. Hello. Oh, hi. Are you in 2A? I'm in 2. <laughs> there is no 2A. Oh, come on. This flat's always been here. Remember the Bracewells? And the Guptas before that? Little Sanjay with his trumpet practice. Mr. Marchman, I meant to ask you, when are you going to fix the peephole? I can see into the flat from out here, but I can't see out from in there. It's weird. Soon, love, soon. Don't listen to him. He's making this all up. This is a new room. She's a bit. I am not a bit. Would you like to come in for a coffee and we can talk about this? Oh, coffee. Yeah, yeah. Coffee that I've spilt on the carpet, you've picked up with tweezers, put in the jar, and now you're going to serve it right back to me. <laughs> OK, that was mad. But everything I said before that was true. I want my flat back! Girls! 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 You're both such lovely girls. You'll be sure and sugar in no time. Don't fight. And if you do, fight nice. With pillars and... Jim Chums. <laughs> the heating's on. <laughs> I want to see what happens to you at 88 degrees. <laughs> Don't do that again. You're making this up. It's pathetic. I will have no malingerers in my shop. Now go and fetch my lolly. <laughs> it was the landlord. He moved my wall and put in another flat, and now there is this woman in my space. What's she like? Oh, you know, you know, you know the type. They're all, hello and hi. <laughs> she even asked me in for coffee, a really clever bitch. I think you've got a case. You should get a lawyer. Yeah, yeah it's expensive, though. Maybe get someone to pretend to be a lawyer. Yeah, someone who's just a bit like a lawyer. Arrogant, cruel, crooked, a liar, a real bastard. That'll sort them out. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. Oh, go on. And then when you get a girlfriend, I'll give you a reference. I'll lie for you. I'll say you're OK. <laughs> All right, dear. <laughs> not so fast. I represent Fran Katzenjammer from Flat 2. She's my client, and I'm a hotshot lawyer like you would have seen on television. So what's your problem exactly? My client's room is smaller, and as you know, it's illegal to steal space under the European Act of Legislation, which happens in a court. <laughs> a room's the same as it's always been. I can give you the measurements if you want. Don't evade the question. Eh? Just answer the question. What question? <laughs> hmm? Oh. Sorry. Where were you when the rooms were measured? I was... Ha, 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 ha! Oh. If that's the case, where was the room? Toby's always been there. You can see it for yourself. 
Damn right I will, before I send this whole building downtown to the boys in the lab. <laughs> I'm sequestering these as evidence, and I'm issuing you with a decree of sub judy sub judy you are under a legal sub judy to stay in that chair until until such time as simon says stand up hello all right hello i'm bernard black from black hingley and Associate, you've been accused of space thievery. I've come to measure your room. Why? Listen, sister, don't kid around. You could be spending the next 20 years in the electric chair. But I've done nothing wrong. How could you? Look at you. You're a summer flower. Here, have a judge's bun. Thank you. Come in. Look. I don't understand her next door. Oh, forget her. She's a mad bitch. But I don't want to have to go to court. Don't worry, I'll represent you. I mean, really, I wanted somewhere a bit bigger. Maybe I'll just move. Because in the summer, I like having a sense of light and airiness and space. <laughs> you know, like something Georgian. That's incredible. Since you've been here, it actually seems bigger. Feng Shui is nine-tenths of the law. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm literally jumping for joy. This is going to be the best summer yet. I love you. Yes, it is. And then we can... We can... We... Uh, I'll call, OK? I've got to go. Lengthy trial coming up. I have to get um, wig extensions, OK? Bye. <laughs> idea how easy it is to get a girlfriend if you're me, which of course you're not. But it's 84 degrees. It's 84. Relax, I got you a present here. The latest thing, it actually sucks out all your body heat if you make sure it's full of boiling water. <laughs> but you do have to wear it all the time. And you will stay with me just in no, case. No, 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 no. I'm a boyfriend now. I've got duties, lots of sighing and holding hands and not finishing sentences. You and the sun are just gonna have to battle it out alone. Uh, excuse me. I bought this as a present for someone and they don't really want it. So I was wondering if I could change it. Maybe for the money. <laughs> Sam. Manny? Sardinia. South. Porto Scuso. The little beach by the old monastery. Get <laughs> You bastard! You nine-sided whore! Oh, I had to! She was going to leave! I'm your oldest friend and I can't sleep! Just for the summer! Forget it! I am going to have blissful slumber tonight! You can forget your summer bunny, mister! Fran! Fran, he won't help me in the heat! Can I stay with you? There's no room! I know, but there's two different kinds. Uh, there's bad asbestos and there's nice asbestos. <laughs> anyway, it grows on you. Uh, yeah, uh, don't worry. Bye. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Landlord. I've got a complaint. Oh, yeah? Yes. It's my bed. It's just... Too damn big for little me. <laughs> Your room's too small. Your bed's too big. Look, I think we can work it out. <clears throat> in, in, in the bed. I don't understand. It's very simple. Look.
okay? And I'm there. Or, or, or the other way around. Don't care. Too tired. Let me get this straight. You're offering... You are actually offering... I am actually offering you me, yes, me. Yours, to enjoy, like an eclair, or a day at the zoo. <laughs> uh, sex! Sexy sex! Oh, no! <laughs> Anything but a talent! When you put the room back the way it was. <laughs> Should I bring this? Hmm. <laughs> Bernard, this thermal-way jacket you bought me, it doesn't seem to be working. I feel quite warm. Trust me, it's what the astronauts used to keep cool. Is space hot? <laughs> of course it is. Where else do you think we get pineapples from? <laughs> I hope you're wearing your heat be gone booties. Where are you going? Out. Courtship calls. I'm going to get out of some chocolate and flowers and chocolate flowers and florets of chocolate. I'm sending a truckload of woo. It's 86 degrees. You can't leave me here. It might hit 88 today. I'm scared, Bernard. Please don't leave me. Please don't go. Oh, yes, that's right. You mustn't get to 88 degrees. Why is that again? You don't want to know. You're right. I don't. No, Bernard, please. Bernard, Bernard, please. Please. Please don't leave me. Please, Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what happens at 88 degrees. I'll tell you. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bernard. Thank you. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Bernard. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Bernard. I forgot my wallet. What? Oh, no. Please. Please. <laughs> No, the flat's great now. No more trouble from the mad neighbour. But the lawyer guy who sorted it out, he turns out to be this freak. I can't move for all the flowers he sent. Yes, and fancy presents and awful, awful poems. Listen to this one. Think of a bee. You are its knees. You waft through me like a summer's breeze. Can I come round Tuesday, please? I know, terrible. I know. The line's nice, though. <laughs> Just a skirting board bulge. Won't look like it's moving now. Not that it ever did, mine. Great, thanks. This other problem. Sorry? The difficulty with the bed. Oh, no. Bed's fine. I love my bed. We talked about the bed. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You must be thinking about someone else. You see, it's been a bit hot today, and that can play tricks with your mind. Definitely. But... I moved the wall back for you! Don't be silly. The wall never moved, you said. Yeah. Call you next time the toilet's blocked, OK? <laughs> Cold, cold, cold. Not working. Eighty-six, eighty-six degrees. Use the power of the mind. Think of cold things. Oh no! A blizzard! Oh. I'd like a copy of Tempocalypse, please. No, go away. Icy winds, dangerous here. Go, oh, please, come on. Go, all right. Oh, where are the books?
Hi, Dan. Piss off. Hello. Come to serenade you. I can't play guitar. I can't play this either, but I, I thought it'd be less obvious. So if you could just kind of stand there and look wistful. No and thanks, I'll... goodbye. Where are you going? Somewhere else. I've had enough of this. The flat's small, then it's huge, now it's a closet full of flowers and truffles. I am not interested in you, okay? But, but... Get lost! No, no! You're my summer girlfriend. You don't get angry. You throw your head back and laugh as we bicycle around the Cotswolds in a taxi. You flick the cherry off the pie and only eat the cream because that's what Auntie Nibs used to do. What? Freak. Stop! Bernard. Stop her! She's breaking the law! Forget it. She was never your girlfriend. It's just the heat playing tricks with your mind. It's not the heat. There's nothing wrong with my mind. You're wearing an accordion. <laughs> Listen, this whole thing, we're, we're all friends. Don't you think it's about time now, you know, that we actually admit it, that we're hugely attracted to one another, you know, just for the summer? No, I don't. I think we should wait a bit. To when? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Until at least one of us is dead? <laughs> Let's get a drink then. All right. But not at the shop. I don't want to hear another word about how hot Manny is. What was the name he made up for that condition? I don't know. Some nonsense. Blake syndrome. Blaine syndrome. Some rubbish. Dave Syndrome. <laughs>